hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching i put together some nautical themed diys that i have done through the years i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft i was so excited when i found all the nautical themed home decor stuff at the dollar tree and i found these unfinished wood items i found only two the wheel and the anchor I know there's more but these are the ones I found and I'm going to start with the wheel and these are the colors I'm going to use to paint this. I will be painting this wheel two different colors but I painted the entire wheel white first because the blue I'm using is acrylic paint and usually with acrylic paint you have to like layer it like so many different times until you get that color. For the handles, I will be mixing three different colors to make a dark brown. I will be using the Dollar Tree painter's tape to add the blue and I am going to go one by one so I can use the same tape on all four of the little sections I will be painting blue. For each section I did give this two coats of this navy blue and until I was finished with the fourth section and I was looking at it I was like the blue is too light. So what I did to fix that, I added some of that blue with a little bit of black paint to make this look darker and it actually gave me the perfect navy blue that I was looking for. So now I'm going to just decorate my wheel and I'm using the Dollar Tree nautical rope. On each section I will be going around it four times to make it thick. Once I am done with my first one, I'm going to go ahead and do it seven more times around the wheel. To finish this off, I'm going to add this beautiful anchor decor that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I honestly didn't have to do anything. All I did was just hang it on one of the handles. And that is it for this beautiful ship wheel. For my next project, I'm using this Dollar Tree 7 inch vase. I am going to make this into a two tone color vase. I'm starting with the white first and I am going to paint the entire thing white. So like that when I add the acrylic paint, it's going to be a lot easier to get the color I want. For the first layer, I only use the navy blue. But for the second layer, I mix the navy blue with a little bit of black to make it a lot darker. So I started with about an inch and a half of the top first, but I didn't like how that looked. So I did paint a little more. The new Dollar Tree item I will be using is this beautiful two-tone nautical rope that I recently found at the Dollar Tree. Now this is five feet. The other ones, the regular nautical ropes are nine or 9.5 feet long. I made this a three-tone rope by adding this jute twine. Now the only reason I added the jute twine was because I was going to add a star so it can hang, but the star was white and it was blending in, blending in with the bottom. So I decided not to add it, but I like how the jute twine looks. So I just left it. And I'm going to add the nautical rope between the blue and the white. This is also going to cover the unevenness of my painting. This is the star I was talking about that I wanted to add, but I ended up not using it. And I think it looks beautiful even though it blends in and it goes with the rest of the 
theme but i decided to leave the vase just like this and i think it looks so beautiful now the greenery i'm using is from walmart For my next DIY, I'm using the other unfinished wooden piece I found, which is this anchor, and I absolutely love this. But one thing, it is made out of very thin wood because I stepped on it and I didn't step on it hard and I almost broke it. But I did fix it by just adding a piece of popsicle stick on the back. After I was done fixing it, I just painted this using some white chalk paint. I'm adding a stripe of that navy blue so I'm adding some painters tape to make my lines nice and even even though it bled through so they're not really that even the next thing I will be doing is adding the rest of the nautical rope to my anchor I did glue it at the top then I wrapped it around and I actually wrap this like two or three different ways until I like how that looked. Once I like how that looked, I cut it because there was six inches left over of that rope. So I cut it and then just glued it at the back. To finish it off, I'm adding some jute twine to the top and to the sides. And that is it for this beautiful anchor. My next new Dollar Tree item is this beach sign, which is not bad for $1.25. And I'm using this piece of wood that is also from the Dollar Tree. This piece of wood is 10 inches. So as you can see, the beach sign is probably like 9.5 inches. So it's a pretty good size. So to paint the piece of wood, I'm using the mixture I have been using, the navy blue with a little bit of black to make it darker. For the beach sign, I'm using the white chalk paint. I'm giving this a light coat and I was very careful not to paint the sides. And this is how it looks. This next step is going to be hard to see because my camera wasn't angle right. But all I did was just glue some jute twine around the word. And I did it by parts. I wish you could have seen how I did it. But here you can see a little bit that I didn't go around the whole B. I just went around it. Later on, I'm going to just finish it off. I'm going to show you how I finished the B. I did this to some of the letters as you can see closely here. To finish this off, I just glue these together and that is it for this beautiful beach sign which is absolutely my favorite one and I love how this turned out.
My next Dollar Tree item is this one right here, which honestly, I wasn't sure what to do with this. I spent like 30 minutes thinking and thinking until I was like, you know what, let me just start painting this and we'll see if I come up with something. So while I was painting this, I started with the mixture I made, the brown, the brown mixture, but I ran out of it and I didn't want to mix more. So I had some of the blue mixture I made and I decided to just use that to finish that off, which I honestly like how this two-tone frame turned out. I thought of covering the reef, but then I was like, you know what, I can just use it and make this a little bit darker. So I used a tiny brush and some white chalk paint and I just went over it. And on the darker spots, I just made it darker and I made some parts thicker. Honestly, I wasn't sure what I was doing here. I was just painting. And this is how it looks. I think it looks so much better like this. Now the next item I'm using is a little starfish. It came in this pack that I got from the Dollar Tree. Three came in a pack, but I'm only using one. I thought of using two, but I didn't like how that looked. Before I glued the star, I added some bubbles. This was actually inspired by my next item I will be using. It had a whole bunch of bubbles on the sign, so I decided to do that to this one. I made some smaller and bigger bubbles and I used the bottom of paintbrushes. And I'm using two of these nautical pens. I tried to remove the pen from the back, but I accidentally broke them and broke the little horseshoe. But what I did is I just glued them back together and left the pen on the back or whatever was left over of the pen because like I said, I broke it. I then painted this using the mixture of the navy blue once they were dried, I glued them to my sign and I glued the starfish, but I didn't like how that looked. I felt like it was too empty, so I removed one of the horseshoes and just moved it more towards the side. And, and I will be adding the word C on the side for the letters I'm using are the Dollar Tree wood letters. I painted them using the mixture I have been using, the navy blue one. And then I just glued these on the side and that is it for this sign, which is not my favorite, but it turned out cute. My next project is so easy and simple to do. All I did was just upgrade this sign just a little more. And to do that, I painted the border using the brown mixture I made. And with the navy blue mixture, I painted over one of the stars you can tell a little bit where I painted that, but to cover that up, I'm adding one of the starfish. And that is all I did for this sign, which I think it looks so much better like this.
and that is it for these beautiful nautical theme home decor diys let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see some more of these nautical theme so i can make a part two and let me know which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye